to that promise. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic of the United States, one nation, under God, and indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Uncovered. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, in your hands are the living and the dead. We give you thanks for all of those, our comrades and sisters, laid down their lives in the service of our country. May they rest in peace and may light perpetually shine upon them. May the good work of seeking justice for the U.S. and peace for all mankind be rewarded with success that their sacrifice should not have been in vain. And may we never fail to remember the awesome cause of the freedom we enjoy today. Amen. Amen. Those which cover may cover. Uh, we do have the 12th District Commander Richard Sachs present with us. We have the BFW Post 5468 Commander Bill Ramos. He's in the back <coughs> with us. We have the VFW Post 5468 Artillery present with us, G6. At this time, we'll go outside and have our <coughs> actual flag raising ceremony itself. So, so I'll go outside and assemble around the flagpole. time the auxiliary wishes to have a balloon release in remembrance of the department. In the past, we have read that the name of all our comrades at both the Legion Post 177 and the Memorial Post 5468, since both were created. Considering the past, it may be suitable to recall two of our most recently departed comrades with some detail. Both are dual members. Both serve with distinction. Comrade Harold Bud Lowe served as commander in many positions in both organizations. His latest position until recent has been chaplain for both. He was the chaplain emeritus for the American Legion. 
gives both respect to the community and in both its organizations. Comrade Dennis Fuchs has a special place for the BFW Post 5468. He was the founder of the Post, who did the initial organizing to, the, to create our Post. He was the first commander and long-term long adjutant. He seemed to know everybody in Eureka and his area. He knew, he knew Eureka, period, and then some and is highly instrumental in our success. Both these comrades are greatly missed. By honoring these two, we honor all who has left us before. Two bells. We received the names of the following uh, members of both, may not members, but family members of those in attendance. Uh, we do have a few people that entered late. Do they have any names they wish to add to the list? No. Uh, maybe George Fritz. George who? Fritz. He was a member here when he was a principal at Eureka Elementary. Okay. Uh, I know he's on the older, older list, being you brought him in. George Fritz. Argus Smith. James Conley. Robert Smith. Joseph Nosichek, Herman Smith, Raymond Eugene Collins, U.S. Navy, World War II, William Ramos, William Ramos. George Weber, Fred Sherms, Jim Floor, Sergeant James Cahill, Ryan Neubauser, I cannot say and I will not say that they are dead. They have wandered off into an unknown land. They even want us to wonder how very fair its needs must be since they linger there. And you, yes, you, who yearn for their own type of steps and glad to return, they give them the same. I say, they are not dead. They are just away. It is for good reason that we assemble today with countless other Americans across the nation and across the world. Regardless of race, creed, or political pers persuasion, we gathered in a unified and solemn remembrance to honor the sacrifices of those who answered the, their nation's call and, have, and who have willingly laid down their lives for our freedoms. This past year has been incredibly challenging. As our way of life has changed, it's difficult and in chaotic ways. It would be so easy to postpone our ceremony, to lay our responsibility to Americans Fallen Service members to next year, make excuses that we are tired, fatigued in the pandemic, to take a break. But the men and women of America's Armed Forces who have sacrificed and given everything they have, including their very lives, for our safety and freedoms that we enjoy deserve more than we can and an excuse. Here at the BFW and the American Legion, we do not make excuses, and certainly not on this most sacred of all days, Memorial Day. Today, we push through fatigue and pandemic exhaustion to come together to honor and pay respects to those lost on the front lines of battle. This Memorial Day has been joined for others to face-to-face, 
or only in mind and spirit. Remember, remember their names, their faces, their service legacy, and their sacrifices are never forgotten. Those of us who gather today to honor the fallen comrades have cherished memories of friends we shared in the box hill, our meals with, and friends at the quick passage of time. We reflect on the brief moments we had with those who are now absent friends. Even though it may be years since the, the day we bid farewell, we still revisit the times we shared with laughter, the tears, the expectations that we all had for the, the future as though it was only yesterday. Their hopes and dreams and plans were never fulfilled because their lives, their time on earth, was much too brief. As we take this time to give thanks to them and quietly contemplate their ultimate sacrifice, we realize how markedly inadequate our attempt really is to pay tribute to them. There are no words that can properly reflect the magnitude of what they accomplished. That is, we enjoy our way of life in the land of the free and home of the brave, we can commit ourselves to diligent reminding diligently reminding the present and the future generations of America that there are no freedom without bravery. And those we honor today were brave when they counted the most. Our intent today is not to speak of the glory of battle or pay homage to heroes or icons, but rather to reflect upon the person behind the deed and remember all our fallen brothers and sisters in arms for what they were people just like us. Equally, they hold through the values upon which this great land was founded and share a common belief in freedom, justice, and liberty. They are our fathers, mothers, sisters, brothers, sons, daughters, and friends. Do you remember them? The next door neighbors and the kids who live down the block. They were high school quarterbacks, cheerleaders, and class clowns. Some of them were teachers, police, firefighters, plumbers, physicians, from every race, creed, and color. They came from every corner of our great nation and from other countries as well. Together, we, they defended, protected, and advanced the cause of freedom. They were different in many ways, yet somehow, all the same. They were unified in spirit and united in purpose and mission. To the men and women we honor today, we're no better or worse than any of us. While protecting our nation, they did not choose the events of the world and the circumstances in which they were thrust. Rather, the circumstances and events of the world chose them. Generation after generation have been fortunate enough to reap the benefits paid for those who believe that freedom is worth fighting for and if necessary, dying for. In the cemeteries across America and around the world today, people with cause to spread flowers on the graves of those who are lost in war. But today should not be about the sorrow we feel at their loss, not about their mourning. As that today, you, you not accept the feelings of grief or affliction, rather feeling honor, patriotism, and pride. It is said that where one story ends, another begins. Through their lives, though their lives were cut short, perhaps the comrades have ensured that the Declaration of Independence and the United States Constitution is equally applied and holds true for everyone, some of whom may not have otherwise been entitled to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Memorial Day is a rare day of opportunity to give thanks for all we have been blessed with. Even though the significance of the day becomes at times confused or distorted, the true meaning is sometimes lost in, 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 is lost in commercialism or ground in the forgetful indulgence that those of us who are here today recognizing the magnitude of the accomplishments and the deeds of the men and women who helped to, to the idea that evil 
and tyranny must not and will not prevail. <coughs> the courage possessed by these men and women we are, who are, are honored today is something that cannot be taught. The willingness to put the country first is truly what makes America the home of the brave. And as what this very special day is all about, being thankful to, that such brave men and women have lived and to pay tribute to their to those who are it. Here are great, great, great patriots who bravely rose up and fought for something greater than themselves, protecting a home to which they never returned. No matter how different these soldiers, sailors, marines, airmen, coast guardsmen are from one another, one thing remains the same. This is a land of freedom and of liberty. History and experience have provided undisputable truth. It is the home of the brave. America was always been home and home worth dying for. Today we do more than just carry on the tradition dating back to 1866 when the first formal Memorial Day observations were conducted. We go beyond tradition, beyond remembering, beyond mourning. Today, as we work together to make this country, they died for building a better nation each and every day. Uncover, please. Almighty God, our gratitude for your generation grows with each passing day. We acknowledge this day's special presence. We have honored those who now enjoy your internal embrace. We ask your blessings on each. We ask your blessings on all that are present here. Especially do we seek your consolation for those recently bereaved. May your grace be with them and with us now and forever. And if by your will, may, all, may we all be favored to, together again in these circumstances and in this company before another year has passed. Amen. Do we have anybody that would wish to speak from the floor? At this time, you're at Memorial Post 5468 and American Legion Post 177. Oh. Well, if I could get up. But if I can't get up, I'd like to thank everybody who came to be part of the BFW and the Not other all of the American Legion. Thank you all for coming. I appreciate it, and I know they do too. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. As I was saying, we, we thank you all for attending. Uh, we do have some water, a few donuts. Uh, we did downplay it this year for numerous reasons. And uh, so you may say the fellowship. I do have some small American flag for the children in our presence. Uh, please take poppies as, as you like. And uh, we thank you for your attending. Have a great day. We will, we will do the conclusion of the flag raising ceremony at 12 o'clock where we bring the flag for us and way down and smartly raise it up to full staff. Thank you.